Hi everybody, it's Mike Andrew once again providing a short video with practical insights as it applies to business and leadership. I want to build off a previous video where I talked about uh, one of the more well-known personality assessments, MBTI, Myers-Briggs type indicator. I want to focus on assessments in general because so many companies around the world are using assessments and relying on assessments for two fundamental reasons. One is for selection. Do we want to promote this person? And also, is this person ready for promotion? Does he she have what it takes from a leadership perspective to take on the higher level role? Or do we want to hire this person from the outside? It's also used for developmental reasons, obviously. But let me talk about uh, one particular assessment that's widely used, I've used it quite a bit in my past, it's called the Hogan, the Hogan Inventories. Uh, I would say one of the top two or three widely used assessments around the world. And they have a number of assessments, but I'm gonna focus on their two basic or primary assessments. One is called the, 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 the nickname is the bright side and the other is the dark side. The bright side is what are those personality enablers that have enabled one's success? Uh, and what are those, uh, on the other report, the dark side, what are those behaviors to, that, that you might want to raise some red flags? Now, it's much more, it's not as simple as that. There's a number of things I want to talk about with assessments. One, is the assessment, has the assessment been proven highly valid and reliable over the years? That's really important, and, and Hogan has. Secondly, and this is just as important, is the quality of the assessor. I mean, can you imagine, you can have, and I've seen them, assessors that are, don't, they, they don't have the ability to really provide the proper insight and they might make the wrong analysis and therefore they might make the wrong hiring decision or promotion decision. It can be very detrimental, so we gotta be very careful. And on top of that, we all know that assess, assessments are not 100% accurate. We can't say, well, the assessment says this, therefore she's this way or he's this way. No, 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 not at all. And just about every assessment has a spectrum. This particular behavior, they, they, they manifest it or, or display it uh, uh, low, average, above average, high, and extreme. So there's a lot of different factors. It's not one or the other. We've got to be careful. So, and it's all about tendencies, tendencies or preferences. Let me get into a little more specifics. Let me talk about the bright side. The bright side, you ever heard of the expression, you know, a strength overdone can be um, a fault. You know, someone can be very generous, but generous to a fault. That's not on the assessment, by the way. Uh, someone could be highly interpersonally sensitive, which is on the assessment, which covers a lot of area. It manages a lot of areas, which is really good. But someone overly extreme may be uh, afraid to confront or provide feedback and so forth. So we have to put things in balance. Where are they? One is ambition. Ambition on the, good, on the bright side is a good thing. But extreme ambition, think about what someone extremely ambitious, what the implications are to their behavior, tendencies. They could be very competitive with their colleagues. They could be very political internally. So just some things to watch out for. You've got to put them on balance. Now let me talk about the other report there, what we call the dark side. It looks at those red flags, and, and that's another thing. You just can't pick out something and say, oh, they got a red flag. There's a number of factors. Are they extreme? If they are extreme, do they have the ability on the bright side report to manage that? Uh, or is there something on the bright side report that reinforces this extreme? I'll give you some examples. So, example might be someone, a uh, high volatility, extreme volatility, extreme volatility, someone inability to handle stress. And by the way, these red flags manifest themselves when people are under stress. Manifest themselves when people are under stress and they are tendencies. So, someone may have a tendency under stress to be very volatile, uh, cannot compose themselves when under pressure or, or stress. Extreme. Be careful. Especially if on the other report they have a low area called we call adjustment that shows the inability. So if it's extreme volatility, extreme low ability to handle it, 
Those are reinforcing red flags to me. Um, another might be, well, I talked to ambition, someone highly ambitious, that's a good thing, but extremely ambitious on the extreme score end. And on the other report, they could, be, they could score extremely high in what we call bold, which is a reflection. Bold is confidence, but confidence overdone turns into arrogance, it turns into a sense of entitlement, it turns into uh, overestimating their value and contribution. Again, tendencies. So if someone is extremely bold, extremely ambitious, those two reinforcing characteristics, you can think of the implications that might have. So those are the things that, that we want to look out for. Uh, how, the, how things manifest under stress, uh, tendencies, preferences, and uh, here's another one. Are they relevant? Most of us have some sort of red flags that we have to watch out for, but are they relevant? And so I won't, I won't uh, uh, write up something that is extreme but not relevant or not significant, especially if they have the ability to manage it. It's just, it's just not important. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause too many questions, too many problems. So that's what I want to talk about today with assessments in general, Hogan specifically. Uh, it's about tendencies. Uh, not only do you have to have a good, valid, reliable assessment, but you have to have a good quality assessor that can interpret uh, correctly and accurately. Uh, and the, the bad behavior, the challenging behavior, the red flags uh, tend, to, tend to come up when under stress and are they relevant and so forth. So just some very quick, broad insights around the value of assessments when uh, looking at selection. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.